Hello guys. Today we will learn how to use the multimeter. Before getting started, I would like to tell people who don't know what is the multimeter. It's a very important device helps you to measure voltage, resistance, current and capacitance. If we take a closer look to see what the multimeter consists of, we will see digital screen display the readings, cursor, lead connectors for connecting multimeter wires. So first let's talk about symbols appear on the multimeter. Connector marked with COM is the common connector that we will attach the black wire and never remove it. The next connector on the right marked with three symbols, diode for diode measuring and continuity, ohm symbol for resistance measure, and V symbol for voltage measuring. If we looked at the cursor, we will find the same symbols. DC voltage, AC voltage, ohm for resistance, diode and continuity. So now if I want to measure voltage, what should I do? By connecting the red lead Add the connector marked with voltage symbol and move the cursor to DC voltage. Actually, this is 3 volts battery, so I have to move the cursor to a value higher than 3. So here I select 20 voltage scale and we can see the readings here. Next is Ohm measuring. Move cursor to ohm section. The red lead connected to the connector we talked about before. So we don't have to remove it to another one. Here I set the cursor to 20 kilo ohm. If we don't know the resistor value I used to set the cursor to the highest value and start measuring the resistance. Then go down by the cursor to get better resolution. While measuring resistors, you should never touch both ends of the resistor by your hands because it could give you false readings. Here on 2 kilo ohm scale, it gives the finest resolution. So the next thing on this connector is diode measuring. Diode normally passes the current in one direction. To make sure it's working by multimeter, set the cursor to diode symbol and start measuring the diode. It gives readings when connected in right direction only, negative to negative and positive to positive. In wrong direction, it will not give readings. So, this one is working great. Now I want to measure current. Move the cursor to the highest value as long as you don't know what is the value of current that you are going to measure. Then connect the red wire to 20 amps connector.
here is the circuit and for sure the circuit is not draining even one ampere if we looked at the circuit it's working right now so when I'm going to measure the current it's not possible to do this while the circuit is closed open the circuit and close it by the multimeter itself here there is no readings because the current value is too small now I need to move the red wire to milliamp connector and set the cursor to 200 milliamps circuit gives about 5 milliamps that what the lead actually draining if I disconnect the multimeter the circuit will be open this multimeter also can measure capacitance here on cursor you can see the highest value is 200 microfarads then 20 micro 2 micro 200 nano and 20 nano here I have a capacitor and I want to make sure the value is right or not this cap value is 100 microfarads if the capacitor pins are long just set the cursor to 200 microfarads and connect the negative pin to the common connector and other one to the other connector marked with CX and here it gives exactly 100 microfarads also if bends are short we can use the leads on CX connectors Now we have done this tutorial. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thanks for watching and see you next time.